Needless to say, she is one of the most controversial figures in current WWE, male or female. Not just because she is a 10-time women's champion, and yes, I say 10-time because I don't count the women's tag team championships, and I don't count the NXT women's title as world titles, as WWE would with the world titles because they don't do that for the male superstars so why would they do that for the female superstars just because it's charlotte flair possibly then again that is their show it is their rules as as it always will be so for them unfortunately charlotte she's right now at 10 and this sunday at wrestlemania backlash she is looking to make it number 11. And there's a high chance that she might achieve that feat. Simply because, at least um, from my point of view, on the Raw side of things, Charlotte Flair versus Asuka versus the Raw Women's Champion Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania Backlash is the match that has me the most excited for the red brand. And it all has to do with the fact that Charlotte Flair returned the night after WrestleMania a completely different character than she had been over the past six years. Because earlier this year, she was still Charlotte Flair styling and profiling Ric Flair's daughter. Carrying herself as such, she was the women's tag team champion with Asuka. She lost those titles with Asuka, and then she challenged the Empress of Tomorrow for the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania. And the minute that happened, she disappeared from WWE TV, and then Rhea Ripley took her place. Like, literally took her place. She did the, the exact same thing. She came out, she challenged Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship, and then she went on to become the nightmare of a champion that we have today. But somewhere along the way, Charlotte Flair returned, and yeah, with a different look, different hairstyle, a little bit uh, more slick in terms of her uh, body figure, or some of the things I noticed. But there was there was a lot of change in attitude for Charlotte Flair. It seemed like she had a chip on her shoulder, which is very hard to say. For someone who is the daughter of Ric Flair, for someone who has been to the top of that mountain for at least 10 times. And she just seems to me as a little bit more of a crazy female superstar right now. She has more of a breaking point. This time, if you push her, she will react. She will kick ass. If you don't believe me... Asked the referee that she beat up about two weeks ago. That's something that the old Charlotte Flair, that's something that the Charlotte Flair that we were introduced to back in the beginning of the Women's Evolution in 2015, she would have never done. And I think that one of the things that plays into this hand, that plays into this storyline, is the fact that Sonya Deville is now gaining power as a WWE official. We've seen it over the past two, three weeks on Raw. She's beginning to set, oh, to overstep Adam Pearce's authority when she was brought in to be Adam Pearce's assistant. She started on SmackDown, really getting behind the head of the table in Roman Reigns, and now she's really getting behind Charlotte Flair for the Raw Women's championship so what's going to happen this sunday night at wrestlemania backlash will charlotte flair become a 11 time women's champion in my mind in wwe's mind she's going to become a 14 time world champion and if you believe that then john cena and rick flair are well above 30 world titles because you'd have to add the tag team titles and the mid card titles and Everything else in between. So again, WWE, get your damn logic right for once. Or 
will Rhea Ripley retain her title? Will Asuka get that championship back? Because when she was woman's champion, she didn't have much to do with it until she lost it. If you ask me, if I had to make a prediction right now on who's walking out the Raw Women's Champion and who I want to walk out, who I want to walk out with the Raw Women's Championship, it's pretty damn simple. I'd keep the title on the Nightmare of Rhea Ripley. I'd keep the title on her for at least another month. Maybe until SummerSlam. Hell, we're, we're three months away from SummerSlam. Let her keep that title until then. Or at least make her lose the championship one month before SummerSlam and then have her regain it. Because Asuka's already established. Charlotte Flair is already established. Your job, WWE, is to establish Rhea Ripley. And having Charlotte Flair in this, in this new character, with this new side of her, that can help Rhea Ripley become a mainstay in the Raw Women's Division. But again, it's up to WWE. Because it's going to be very, very easy for WWE to just say, let's put the title on Charlotte Flair again. Again. And she is a top contender, but... She really doesn't need to want the Women's Championship anymore at this point. She's Charlotte damn Flair. Put her in a pay-per-view match, and you have the Raw Women's Championship match, you have the SmackDown Women's Championship match, and then you have, and then you have the Charlotte Flair match. That's how big she's gotten. That's how big they've built her out to be. So she doesn't need the Women's title. But all in all, Rhea Ripley, for me, retains the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania Backlash. How I hate that they use WrestleMania in a fucking name. Come on. Come on, WWE. Don't do that to your most precious name. Alright? Please. Anyway, that's it for me. Those are my predictions. Those are my thoughts on the current Charlotte Flair character. A completely repackaged daughter of the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. What do you think about this new character from Charlotte Flair? Do you think she's going to walk out of WrestleMania Backlash with the Raw Women's Championship? Or do you agree with me? Do you think Rhea Ripley should hold on to the title just a little bit longer so she could be established as a Raw main eventer? Leave your thoughts and comments on the comment section below. I've been Alexis Carrillo. Don't forget to watch Raw later tonight and have a great rest of your day.